go by the name of Ms. Brett and I am currently signed to Atlantic Records. And what are you working on right now? What are you doing right now? Um, I'm working on singles at the moment. I'm working on my album, um, which is The Bigger Picture. And I'm doing a few tours as well. I've, I'm featuring on the Tiny Temper Tour in November. I'm doing a pastry tour with Angela and Vanessa Simmons over here in, in Europe. Um, so I'm just, I'm busy, very busy. How's awesome. Sam and how's touring going? It's really fun. It's really fun. You don't really get much sleep and you don't get much food, but I just enjoy it because the crowd, <laughs> I know, is, um, yeah. You don't get your basic needs fulfilled, yeah. <laughs> food or sleep. Yeah, but I just enjoy it because I love performing and the crowds, like, the energy is crazy. Yeah, good. Um, so how would, you, how would you describe the atmosphere right now for female MCs? Um, I think the atmosphere right now is amazing. You know, we're, we're a lot more accepted than we were a few years ago and there's a lot more of us, you know, because when I was young and I was in primary school and stuff, the only female MC out was Miss Dynamite and now there's, like, so many of us. Um, I guess at the moment we're trying to cross over as well into the commercial world because at the moment we're all kind of harbouring in, in the underground scene. But... It will be wicked for some of us to like burst through into the overground. Why do you think? Why do you think things have changed recently? Um, I just think, in general, with the success of UK music and you know a lot of the artists at the moment that are topping the charts came from the gram scene, which is where a lot of the female MCs are coming from. And to see you know people like Ms Dynamite and like go into the wider audience, it opens up so many doors for us as well. Okay, um, so obviously everyone asks you about um, how different is it being a female MC versus being a male MC, but um, do you understand the reason why people ask you that question? Like, um, I guess they just want to know how, from a perspective, from my perspective, um, it's a very male-dominated scene, and yeah, I hope, I guess that's the reason why they ask that. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think that it is it is different for y your work of ethic versus your male counterpart, I guess? For me, I had a really weird journey. I started off in a male kind of collective. Mm -hmm. It was with people like Tiny Tempar and a lot of underground males, and they were so supportive that I, I didn't have to prove myself to anyone else because they were because I had the backing of those guys, like, everyone else thought, oh, yeah, like, she's sick. But then I left and I did my own thing as a, you know, on my own, as a female, and it was a lot harder, you know, to get people to take you seriously, even, like, listen to actually listen to your lyrics rather than just look at you, that kind of thing. But I don't really, I don't really care what guys think of me, I just think my music... Just listen to my music. Yeah. And kind of thing. So, how do you feel then about like YouTube comments that are kind of directed towards? Do you know what? I take everything with a as a pinch of salt, but it's upsetting when I've got you know little brothers and sisters. I don't want them to read those comments on my videos and stuff. Um, so it, it is hard, and I don't have time to go through every single you know sexual comment and delete it. I don't have time to do that. So it's it's upsetting, but I'm not upset by it. I'm just upset that maybe my little brother and sister might read that. Right, okay. How would you describe the content of your music? What do you talk about? Um, I talk about experiences. Sometimes, I guess it reflects on my mood. Like, if I'm feeling a bit aggressive, my lyrics are probably a lot more aggressive than usual. Um, like, like, I love performing and I love energy and stuff so a lot of my tracks like Selector and my new one Tear It All Down they're all about energy and vibe and getting people to dance because I, I like to when people hear my songs I want them to feel like good like feel good music so the content is like I like to get lyrical but I like people to have a good time as well so varied is that is that the kind of music that you listen to as well yeah, I listen to all, like, I go through phases, I guess. Like, sometimes I'll go through a phase of Frank Ocean and I'll go through a phase of 
um, Portishead, like all these kind of weird different types of music, I guess. Like I wasn't brought up on Guns N' Roses either, so I've, I've never really, other than their commercial stuff, I've never really heard their music. So I would sit on YouTube listening to all of their music and just catching up on what I missed out on and just, yeah, just things like that. So listening to Guns N' Roses records. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's, it's mad weird, but yeah, like I like to, you know, they might have drums that I really like that I might be influenced to use in one of my songs and just... Is that how you, how you get inspiration? It was just sometimes, like, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, sometimes, like you, like, yeah, you might hear something musically that they're doing that you want to incorporate into your own track yeah. kind of thing. So, yeah. Okay, this is a hard question, so you might need some time to think about it, but what is your favourite lyric? Uh, what, that I've written or someone? No, else? anything in, in life, in the world. Oh, my in... God. Um, See, I knew it was a hard question, just dead air. <laughs> yeah, like tumbleweed. Um, I wouldn't be able to pick, like, out of my whole life, but I guess for now, like, mm. this moment, it's probably common. Some recognise the light, but they can't handle the glare. Oh, I love that song. But then, you, no, but then, <laughs> if heaven was a hat, you would be that tall. I yeah. like that as well. That's a sweet song. That's filled with great, yeah. great lines. And... Common for Is there anything else that you want to say? Bye! <laughs> <laughs>